Toyota Motor Asia Pacific and Toyota globally for supporting the Paralympic movement. And Ernie said that yes, uh, he first learned how to swim in the oceans and the, actually the sea, the oceans completed him uh, being uh, having uh, all these uh, disabilities but whenever he's in the ocean swimming he feels uh, very complete and he loves the nature and for him uh, this is the first need of human beings and he would like to also inspire people to take care of the nature especially the oceans um, to preserve it for the generations to come so he hopes that everyone will help in keeping the oceans clean. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Elijah. So, Latif, so I know that you're working with Malaysia to do the outrun, which is the first ever outrun. And I just heard that it outsold, or it, um, it sold out in the two weeks. So, the event just launched in two weeks, it's already sold out. So, tell me a little bit about why you want to reach out to the community and what the outrun will do for that. Latif. Latif. Uh kita akan mengadakan outrun kita a uh, dua minggu dua minggu dari sekarang so boleh tak bagi tahu apa uh, latif uh, nak tujuan latif membuat uh, outrun dengan Toyota okey okay. uh, terima kasih kepada Toyota dan uh, sponsor Toyota Olympic dan tujuan saya dan Toyota buat larian outrun untuk challenge jadi ataupun orang yang tak kemam tak kemam pun untuk lari kan dari lap uh, lapak kaki aja nak boleh untuk mencuba diri sendiri ya untuk try yang the best. First of all, uh, thank you for the sponsor from Toyota. Uh, basically, the cost of this run is to uh, give to challenge ourselves to make sure that uh, we can overcome uh, anything which is impossible. Uh, this run is just an 8 km and uh, all the proceeds will be uh, channeled to uh, the children who are in special needs that uh, like uh, sports. Uh, thank you once again. So Latif, will you run? And if you run, will you run to win or will you let others win? Latif akan berlari bersama-sama dengan kita nak menang ke dengan budak-budak saja? Kalau saya saya saja follow saya bagi kepada adik-adik yang you will just follow and let the kids uh, all run. <laughs> all right. Very kind of you. Uh, Wei Song, so I understand, I know that you work with children just like just like Saudi. Uh, but in your outreach and your uh, para swimming conversations, dialogues with youth and with their parents, what are you hoping to accomplish and what do you want uh, the youth to take away from those dialogues? Uh, so, firstly, I'd like to uh, thank Toyota for selecting all of us in terms of the uh, sports communities in our respective countries. It's a great honor. And uh, for me, uh, I would like to reach out to children through school outreach programs, which I'm collaborating with Toyota to achieve. And um, the idea is that in Singapore, there are a lot of kids who don't know they have opportunities, don't know that sports is an option for them to um, make something out of their lives, to pursue their dreams, to go further in, in their aspirations. And so the purpose of me going reaching out to schools is to tell them that there are people who are going to help you, there are organizations who are willing to help you, such as Toyota. And you can rely on them to uh, uh, start your own impossible, to see how far you can go, and not to be afraid of trying. Thank you. So I know you just started university. So of all the things you're doing, how do you balance your studies, balance working with the community, training, hopefully having a little bit of fun while you're in university? So how do you balance all of that? And, uh, in Singapore, one of the biggest problems is always, uh, for athletes, it's balancing your sport and your academics. And um, to a lot of people, this stops them from uh, pursuing their sport at a very young age. And I want to show them that no, if you want to pursue your sport as well as your academics, it can be done and the people are willing to help you and uh, there are still things that are possible to do. Ah, thank you very much. So I just have one last question. Why do you guys have cool sweatshirts and I'm up here to see? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, please thank and give a warm round of applause to our audience. <laughs> Please continue.
continue to follow the athletes as they are on their journey for 2020. And also, um, if you're so inclined, please follow their hero project that they're doing in your communities. Um, I want to thank all of you for joining us. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for Toyota to get you to see what we're doing in the community with the importance to us of creating mobility for all. And you're going to see some great examples of mobility um, at the event that you're going to be with uh, Toyota in the next couple days. So please enjoy. Please enjoy the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show. And also please enjoy your mobility experience with Toyota. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please can leave me a stage for a group photo. Thank you. So how about let's start looking center? Let's look center. Okay, over there to the right. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, teenagers. And we have come to an end for this morning's program, but the day has just begun. We have lined up exciting presentations for you for the rest of the day. So the next segment will begin at 10 a.m. Our Toyota staff will show you uh, where the room is. And again, thank you so much for your participation and have a lovely day. Thank you. Tapos yung unang yugto ng ating tampok dito sa Autobuyers Philippines. Tuloy-tuloy lang po tayo ngayong araw na ito. At uh, mag magpadala lang po kayo ng inyong mga comments sa comment section below. Itakita po ulit tayo mamaya. Lalim ah. Lalim? Lalim.